Familiar faces, I see. Yeah, how you doing? So, um, we've obviously covered the M Audio trigger finger. So, APC40 uh, Mark II by Akai. So, you know, this this is a another completely different workflow for for DJs. Basically, it gives you gives you the ability to do different things live than the game just spinning decks. Okay. So, you know, Ab Ableton came out on the market. I don't know seven years ago, maybe nine years ago, and it started to pick up a lot of traction to manipulate audio through time stretch. And it was the only product, well, software product on the market that en enabled you to manipulate loops. But there wasn't any controllers out there that you could control it in a live environment. And I think there was a lot of people mapping different keyboards together to try and control Ableton. And it became you know, a very difficult task. So. We, we brought a product to the market called an APC40 about six years ago, which was a phenomenal success worldwide. And it became like an industry standard piece of hardware for controlling clip launch inside Ableton. And you know, it, it then gave DJs the ability to go out live and start physically remixing, which is where so many people want to do now. They want to either take their loops that are pre-made in the studio or take acapellas or breaks from other tracks and actually mash them up live or, you know, or even in a studio environment. So this is what the integ integration between Ableton and APC as a controller enables you to do. So, this is the next generation of the controller. So most things were right with the original APC, which some of you probably are aware of. So basically what we have now, we have a full RGB LED display. So in any low light environment or high light environment, you can see exactly what's going on with the clips and that everything's coordinated via colors of what you're doing. And then you have, um, you then have your sends, your pan sends all along each channel strip as well. So again, when you're in a live environment, it's very easy to navigate to know where you are. And then one of the most important things is the selectable crossfader as well. Originally, you had to go to Ableton to set up your crossfade, which wasn't always suitable, again, in a live environment. But this is what um, you can do now. You can just select the crossfade that you want live and then manipulate that across each track, which is really, really useful. So, you know, and it's USB powered, so you want to go straight to your DJ set, you can just plug it into the Mac and bang, you're away, you know. So it's very, very simple, very simple setup. So how, how many of you are familiar with what Ableton does for a DJ, yeah? Okay, and what, what kind of, oh, and over there. Um, so in that sense, what kind of stuff are you doing with it? Are you using it for remixing or are you just using it to play live sets with? Well, just with Ableton, are you, are you using it more for production-based? Yeah, so not really DJ stuff. No. no? Okay, well, this would be quite interesting then. So what I've done, I've, I've put in a load of loops that, again, we worked with Tour Room Records on this, so we've got hundreds and hundreds of loops, breaks, bass lines and stuff that you can literally chuck into the clips and start mashing up live. Now, you know, I tend to be one of these kind of product managers that, does things on the fly. You know, I don't rehearse what I do for hours and hours on end. I try and do things live so you can kind of get a gist of how easy it is for anybody to create these things. So, so basically, like I said this morning, I chucked in a load of loops into here and then we can, we can chop them around, change them about and, you know, and just kind of mess with this product live. So if I'm, if I'm, so if I'm doing a set, we could physically pull in a loop straight away onto our track. So what I'll do, I'll go through, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do a quick performance for you and then we can go through the, in, the individual elements.
So it kind of shows you how kind of quick that you can jump in and in between tracks and loops by literally just dropping components on each part of a, of, of a track, really. So, so basically what we have here, when we go through all the different elements of what the APC offers you, we'll go to track one, and then track one I've got. So just a loop playing, then I can flip to the next one. Now, Everything's quantized for you already, and you and what's really cool, you can tell you can tell each clip when you want it to drop in. So you might want to do it instantly if you want to play in real time, or you can do it by the bar, by half a bar, by four bars, whatever you want. So we can, and then on track six over here, like I said I've got full control. I've got loops playing, more percussion ones. Then I've got my more dominant fall to the floor on track five. And then on this track again, track five, bringing another loop. And then you can see here. So I'm just jumping between, jumping between breaks. Bass lines. Bring a bass line. So you've got so much control of this product when you're manipulating stuff live. And like I said, if you know, if you if you want to prepare your set, you know, and spend a good three, four hours knowing exactly what you want to do with this, you can come up with some incredible results. So like I said, let's go through a vocal. We pull in, let's pull in a loop here. Now on that track, we can go to a filter. So now I've got control of the filter. And then we can pull in the vocal. And I can just keep triggering it. Filter. And then what I could do with this vocal, I put the beat repeat on here and I can, I can toggle between both plugins as well. So I can set up, say, three different plugins on the vocal channel, which I've got there. Then I can just flip between them. So I can turn them off like that um, and then go back to the track. Then. Take 
flip. Bring in some more. So again, everything's in time, you know, and again, it elevates the DJ performance to the next level because if vocals, if, if you could, you could, we, could, we could drag in 20 vocals, 30 vocals of all the current tracks, snip all the bits that you want, and then you can literally flip through songs live and just, you know, and have the whole crowd in the palm of your hands, you know, away from your typical way of DJing, or you can, you know, you can do the both. If you want to do a live mashup in the middle of your set and really flip the crowd round, this is the kind of controller that enables you to do that because it's it's got it's geared up to what the DJ does best is is building a crowd and manipulating remixing. Um, and, and like I said, everything that the device offers you, you can get into all the control surface side of Ableton. You can you can access all the effects live. You, we can look at multiple clips as well. Like on the grid is a is an eight by five, as well. So again, we can turn, we can stop the clips very easily. We can select each bank that we're working on, and then have control of the pan in, the sends, the returns, and I can I can set up eight effects on each track and have control over each one of those effects by just hitting send, and then I go. Okay, I want effects number one, effects number two, and then I can go up to eight, and then I can layer each track with effects as well. So it's ridiculous of how much stuff you can put on an APC to go out live with as a product. Um, and again, you know, you can, you, can, you, can, you can record all your own clips as well in the studio, so if you want to create all your own bass lines and put your own music into here, again, you can do that very easily. Um, but you do, need to, you do need to kind of set up the environment for when you are going out live. So you've got all your clips already, um, already loaded onto the unit before you go out and do that. Because one thing Ableton does, it warps the track. So if, if there's certain tracks you're using, it has to warp the track before it times it up with the tempo of what we're running with. Like at the moment, if we want to bring the tempo down, I could do that whole set at one, two, one. So now our tracks are running at one, two, one. So then we can it's okay or we can take your temple up to say one two nine So that's the kind of control that you get with Ableton as a product, okay? So what I suggest we do is, I think you should all come up here and have a play with this, definitely. Because I think you'd all get something out of how you can you know, move into this kind of way of DJing in the future. All right, so that's APC 40 for you guys, all right? <laughs>